if you and I were talking one year from now, based on the direction of the programs that the president uh, is creating, the stimulus, right. the health care, what would what would you what would we what would we be talking about? What would be the state of the economy? Well, it's, I, can't, I can't predict this. You know, the American economy is a great thing. Um, uh, it's big. Nobody, nobody can wave a magic wand or turn a couple knobs and uh, manipulate a bunch of levers and, and, and cause it to magically change direction. It's just too big and too complex. That's another reason why he can't really end up controlling health care. It's too complex. Everything about this economy in this country is complex, and it's it, it's it's uh, big. So it and the American people are very resourceful. You know, at some point, people are going to say, "I'm not, I'm not happy sitting here being unemployed, and I'm tired of waiting for whatever Obama said he was going to do for me." Uh, entrepreneurs will get out there and they'll start getting work, and the economy may come back, or it may start upticking. The Obama people they're predicting the future, Greta, and they're saying it's going to be a jobless recovery. Now, how inspiring is that? Yeah, the recovery is you know, I think Obama even referenced it last night. Yeah, the economy is going to come back, but the jobs will be a lagging factor. But, well, that's all that matters. If the economy is coming back and there aren't any jobs with it, for whom is it coming back? So a year from now, the resourceful of the American people, we could be ticking back up. Uh, economic direction could be ticking back up, and I guarantee you, when that happens, Obama and his guys are going to take credit for it. The stimulus worked, blah, 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 which will not be the case. That gets to a political question. The Republicans have got to this is the perfect opportunity for them to contrast themselves against who this guy is and what his policies are and lay the groundwork now for the elections in 2010 and what to run on. And it's, it's, not, it's not complicated. Just do the opposite of this. Talk about American exceptionalism, American greatness, the, uh, the abilities of the American people to build the greatest country in the history of civilization, uh, being torn down now by this guy who has a deep resentment for it. You can hear it when he talks about it overseas and in this country. And it's, um, you know, it angers me. You know, I love this country. I have an, I am an awe. As human beings, we're no different than the human beings anywhere else in the world. And there have been families, clubs, countries, thousands of years on this planet longer than we have. We're barely 250 years old. And we have outdone everybody in almost everything that lives, or raises a standard of living in the history of the world. It's not because our DNA is different. It's not because we're special human beings. It's because of our freedom. It's because of the founding documents and all those rights that we have where they come from. Uh, we are having that freedom interrupted. We are having a tax on it. And the greatness of this country, its people are under assault right now. It just, it angers me, because I, I, it, it, this is the exact opposite of what we need to be doing to come out of this recession. Printing money, $12 trillion in debt, and then last night, he talks about how he's reducing deficits. State legislature. It was a big disconnect. It was, I, I, I watched this thing with my mouth open in yeah. awe. Because and the press. There was indisputable evidence. This is the sorriest time, I think, in, the, in my lifetime in their career, I, you know, uh, Jim DeMint said that uh, health care is Obama's Waterloo. The press has met their Waterloo, and it's Obama. They have sacrificed whatever integrity, character, professionalism, ethics that they've had. It's all gone. Their total reason, most of them, for existence, propping this guy up. They're not reporting the details of his plans. They're not reporting his policies. They're looking at it as a horse race. Is Obama win? Is Obama lose? They're running countdown clocks on some of the networks for the press conference last night. Countdown clock, 8 hours, 25 minutes, 13 seconds to Obama's press conference. These people sitting around with the tingles up their legs all day, they marvel at how Obama is so smooth and elegant, they are not reforming, uh, informing anybody about the details of his policies. And yet, 53 percent, over 50 percent in most polls now oppose this health care plan. So who's telling the people? Who's telling the people what's in it? Alternative media, your network, talk radio, the conservative blog network. The mainstream media has cashed in its chips. They have become nothing more than stenographers for Rahm Emanuel. Uh, in, in, in large part, and it's just, it's breathtaking to see, willingly sacrifice every characteristic that makes quality journalism.